loud shout and the noise was heard afar off. The temple of Solomon, some elders, ancient men that were alive. When that first temple was built, they were now alive again in a new generation. And they saw the construction of it was meant to be the same temple. They were rebuilding the temple, but there was reduction in quality. They were rebuilding the temple until the elders were weeping. Why the young people were shouting for joy. Oh, what a beauty. Oh, what a man manifestation. Oh, what a demonstration. The ancient men that saw the first mantle were weeping. The men of old were in tears. They were, they were crying. They were weeping. Why the young men were jumping? The old men were crying. Why the, the young men were happy because of ordinary remind the mouth that cannot change even the street where they are. They were rejoicing. The old men were crying because the wisdom of Solomon was crisscrossing the territories of Israel and hitting other nations. Why the young men were jumping and rejoicing that headaches, headaches used to bow for them. The old men were crying. Gone are those days when a servant of God will lay hand on cancer and it will drop in his hand. Why the young men were rejoicing? Rejoicing that they had the latest suit, driving the latest fleet of cars. And that is ministry fulfillment. The old men were weeping, gone at those days when they will speak and government will obey. Why the old men we are weeping, we are shouting aloud and crying with bitter sorrow from their heart. That the Christianity that they saw in their own generation has been watered down in the generation and they are old now. There is nothing they can do again. And those that took over the mantle are running with no fire. They are running with no fire. Took over the mantle, running with no fire. Running with no fire. Running with no fire. Why the old men remember that they, when they get money, it is to inject it into the church. The young men are saying when the church get money, it is to inject it into their pocket. All right. Reduction in the glory. Reduction in the glory. Making their dads to cry. And making young men to rejoice. Beloved brothers, if you see through the eye of history, into the kind of things that God did before, you will cry now. Nothing will make you not to cry. Amen. Nothing will make you not to cry. Nothing will make you not to cry. And it's so, it's so, so touching that fathers are going. In the last five to six years, many fathers have gone. Rehard Bonke has gone. Billy Graham has gone. All right. Many of them have gone. Just this week, right? Dr. Paul Young Chu pastor the largest church on earth. 500,000 people used to come to worship on Sunday morning. Papa Debo said he attended the church, went to South Korea to attend the church. And when he entered the place, he couldn't see him. He was not even near to see him at all in those days. And he said he heard the man making announcement, telling the church people, they, they used to run seven services. Each service, the sanctuary could carry 50,000 people at once. So, they were, they were running seven services every Sunday. And the man of God made an announcement at the end of the service. said, those of us that came to church this Sunday, please, next Sunday, don't come to church again. So that those who were not able to come to church this Sunday will be able to find where to sit down next Sunday. Stay at home, don't come. Please, I am begging you. Somebody shout reduction. We need to know that something is wrong. Oh. In their days, it was like they poured salt on the walls of the church. That when the doors are open, it's a rush. It's a rush. 
It's a rush. In our days, we are offering people five for life free of charge. Giving them transport money, we have made it known to everybody. And when they come as newcomers, we give them five for life. Give them transport money. Yet. Reduction in the glory. Reduction in the glory. Let us see through the eye of history and see what the fathers did in their generation. Instead of us shouting like the young men shouting in the days of Ezra, we will weep to the altar. Lord, whatever man to you dropped on the fathers, we carry it. Whatever man to whatever you did. And I want you to please notice here, yeah? the way fathers are going, that is how vacuum is being created for the young generation. The fathers are going, I don't want to say going down, but they are withdrawing now. They have fought the good fight of faith. They have carried the torch. They have handed over the baton and the mantle. As they are disappearing from the stage, a new generation is emerging on the stage. The question is, what did you bring? Motivation that leads to conformity or revelation that leads to transformation. What did you bring? I told you it is passion injection. Passion injection. Spirit of the sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known, reveal the glory of believing God. Wearing suit is not equal to a successful ministry. It's not. It's not. But the impact your life made over people, over cities, over nations, impact. Amen. Amen. So please, every single one of us here today, our fathers used to spend eight hours, ten hours, eighteen hours, Bishop David Uidipo, in a vision to receive vision from the Lord. He was there for eighteen hours. But in our generation, we have twenty-four hours. We sleep by sleep through eight hours, ten hours. When it is daytime, you have only 12 hours. Social media took five hours from your time. We are on social media hunting for people's revelation to go and preach. You cannot face Facebook and abandon the book, the Bible, and not preach trash. Spirit of a sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known reveal the glory of the living God. Lift your hands and say, Father, reveal yourself to us in a way we have not known you before. Re restore the glory, the Shekinah glory, the dogs are. Open your mouth and pray, let God hear you. Spirit of a sovereign love, you will come, oh, you will make your presence no reveal the glory of the Spirit, Spirit of a sovereign love, come, oh, come, oh, come and reveal the glory of the living the glory of believing.
Aye, aye. Hello, Saya, Kele, Kele, Teles. Shana mana ni anando se wakes. Aye, aye. Ele mi anana teleko. E anano saya tele. Anando ke la menele tele. Kuwele ao zawe kele. Akole biya na talembe la tano. Elwe ke upule ya nano za ya kaya ya. Ele miyano uwe ke la bando za ya ye. Saku ele tele dege ya talo. Kule uwe kule za ya na ti ya tele. Koko kuyela ya sa ya ya ya. Father, restore the glory in our time, in our world. The same visible, tangible, palpable upon us, upon us, upon us. This is our time. This is our generation. This is our generation. There shall be no reduction in the glory, in the weight, in the quality, in the dimension. There shall be no reduction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please take us to God's presence.